Happy holidays, everybody. My name is Ben, and welcome back to The Bench for episode number one of the second annual 12 Sprues of Kidmas. That's right, we're going to go ahead and do what we did last year again, though this time we're going to make a couple alterations. Now, if you remember from last year, you might recognize this box. This is my 12 Sprues of Kidmas countdown box. There are 12 little cubbies right inside here, covered over by some parchment paper, and in each one of these boxes are going to be a model kit. And I don't know which model kit's going to be in these boxes. They're not going to be loaded by me. It's going to be loaded by someone else. And we'll just see every day. We'll draw one and we'll see what we get. So that is going to be interesting. Now, last year, if you remember, I built mostly one 144 scale kits and a lot of them were modern jets. This time though, we're going to actually jump into 172nd scale kit. So I'm up in the ante just a little bit and we're going to stick to mostly World War II aircraft. So I thought I would show you what we have coming up on the bench and well, just give you a little sneak peek into our different possibilities. In no particular order, the very first one here is a 172nd scale Ravel Supermarine Spitfire Mark V. Now, I've never built a Ravel 172nd scale kit before. I don't know how it's going to go, but you got to have a Spitfire, right? So that's one possibility. Another kit here is the 172nd scale Nakajima B5N2 Kate. This is the Pearl Harbor Torpedo Command version, and as you can see, all these kits are brand new. They have not been started, and I've always wanted to build a Kate, so this would work perfectly. Though I have to tell you, this canopy, this is going to be a nightmare to go ahead and to attempt to mask. I'm not looking forward to that for sure. Following right after that, we have one of our only jet aircraft. This is a 172nd scale Douglas A4B Skyhawk. Now this is an airfix kit and I really love the A4, especially the early B models. And I'm gonna probably build the one off the USS Intrepid. I know you can also build one from the Argentinian Air Force, but I'm gonna stick with the US version. And honestly, I love the Skyhawk, so this will be a lot of fun. Back to World War II, we have a 172nd scale Curtis Tomahawk Mark II B. Now I actually built an air Airfix P40B this last year, and it was a lot of fun. So this is a 172nd scale, but as you can see, it's in RAF markings. So that should be very interesting to build. Plus, the markings are just different enough. They're not the typical, you know, shark mouth that you see on almost all the B40s. Plus, it's Airfix, and I've had really good luck with Airfix recently, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a fun build. Moving right along, we have a P47D. This is the Razorback version by Academy, also 172nd scale. And I've always liked the Razorback version of the P47. Just something about it, it just looks mean. I thought, you know what, let's build one. I've never actually built a P47 before, so I thought we'd go ahead and throw one in there and see how we do. Now again, it's Academy, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna build up, but I'm hopeful, and I think it would be a really nice addition to our shelf. Keeping with that Academy trend, we also have a P-51C. This is one of those natural metal early P-51s, and I actually have never built a P-51 here on the bench, so this will be interesting to see if I can get this one looking decent. It is, again, Academy, so I don't know how that's going to build out, but you got to have a P-51. It's such a classic, classic fighter from World War II, and also I really like the Razorback version of that as well, so that should be fun. As another possibility, we have the Academy F4F4 Wildcat. Now, I've never actually built a Wildcat before. I've always wanted to. They're those really interesting little Grumman aircraft, you know, that soldiered on during the early days of World War II, and I've never built one. So I thought, let's go ahead and dive in and just give one a try. That's a potential for one of our build days. Now, for something a little bit different, we have a Ki-61. This is a 172nd scale Hasegawa kit, and I honestly don't know how that will build up either. I've never built a 172nd scale Hasegawa, so that should be interesting. What kind of drew me to this kit is it's got a really neat looking marking on the side of it. Now I don't know how many different paint options we have for this one particular kit, but I know if I don't like any of them, I can definitely use this one in the box. That should make for a really interesting looking kit. Of course, we've got to have a Stuka, right? This is the ju 87 G2 Stuka. This is the anti-tank version, so it's got those giant cannons there underneath the wings. And again, 172nd scale Academy. Now, I don't know much about Academy, but I'm really hoping that it's going to build up into a decent kit. I've got several of these new Academy boxings, and I'm really hoping that they work well. Plus, another one of these canopies I'm not looking forward to masking. But of course, we also have to have something Russian. So I've chosen this as an LA-7 Weekend Edition kit by Edward. I've always liked the LA-7s. They look fast, they look nimble, they look quick. So this is going to be one of those very exciting builds. Plus, I really like the markings on these. They look very striking. Now, I've never actually built a 172nd scale by Edward before. So this is going to be interesting to see how it goes together. If it's anything like their 148 scale kits, I'm in for a real treat. Moving along with the Edward bandwagon, we have a Focke-Wulf 190A8. This has a very interesting kind of snake motif on the side of it there, and that's what kind of drew me to the kit. I like the Focke-Wulf, it's a neat looking fighter, and I've only ever built one here on the channel, 148 scale, accurate miniatures I believe, but this is again 172nd scale Edward Weekend Edition, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I gotta tell you, I'm excited to build it. 
And last but not least, we have a 170 second scale Nakajima KI-44 Shoki. I am very excited to go ahead and build this. It's a great looking little fighter. And this has got some really cool paint design and it's natural metal. So I'm hoping I can really make this thing look beautiful. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode. I wanted to show you guys the kits that are gonna be possibilities for each of our build days. We're gonna get our first video out where we're gonna punch a hole through day number one, pull out whatever kit's in there, and we're gonna go from there. Last year, this was a lot of fun. So I'm hoping this year is gonna be just as much fun. We're gonna build 12 kits. We're gonna release three videos a week for four weeks. If my camera calculations are correct, we'll end right about on Christmas Day. That should be fun. So until our next episode, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on the second annual 12 Sprues of Kitmas. Thank you so much, everybody. Happy holidays.